one of the things I have been thinking about when it comes to the microwaving or the frequency technology, whether it's radio frequency, radio waves, whatever it is, um, that makes us feel like our blood is boiling, like there's a series of rivets inside us. That's how it goes on inside, like, like you're humming on the inside, and it's it's pain. Um, what if the hacking, this hacking, has something to do with it? What if one time when I was in the motel when I moved here from Vegas, um, I had an, a phone, an Android phone, and I looked at the uh, the Wi-Fi section, and I saw that it was um, they had two hundred and fifty three. Um, I don't know, hot spots that it was hooked up to. Now, bearing in mind, I didn't take it anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. And this happened within a day and a night, like a 24 hour period, because I checked it the evening before, it was four. Um, it was, uh, I think Starbucks, I think, I'm not sure. But it was four places that I recognized that I had literally manually hooked up to because i'd set it to not be uh, automatically hooked up i think i'm not sure but i get it people in the motel but within 24 hours we did not have 253 different people come there it's not that big of a motel and all those people 253 of them would have had the hotspot on their devices enabled for me to pick them up. They would have to be transmitting. Um, as a transmitter, and then I would have to pick it up and, and automatically log, my phone would log on to their, whatever whatever their hotspot password, you know, it would have to be like that. And it would have to be free, of course. Because if it's password protected, then I couldn't have automatically logged on anyway. So what if, what if the hacking, we're being hacked really badly and it's, it's running through, you know, like this phone right here that I'm talking into, what if it's connected to a lot of phones in the neighborhood or the, the nearby neighborhoods and it's all just combining, combining and it's making, making me sick and maybe making other people sick too. What is this? I mean, is this, is this, I'm just saying, what if this is a part of it? It's just magnifying this, um, this, this whatever harmful radiation is emitting from these devices is being amplified by thousands. Think of that. And we're walking and, and wallowing in it every day. And anything that they do, that they do, to, 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 to certain individuals, they don't have to do much. They just get us going. I don't know. That doesn't help as well. That's one thing. But I know that within the group, they're also targeting certain people. They're not going to target the whole neighborhood. Or they may just to have one person within the midst, in the midst of that neighborhood, fall into the category. Unfortunately for them, I know things have been stolen from me. Because I think there's, it's not a coincidence that I ended up living here. I don't believe this. I didn't look at it before, but now I see it clearly. You're hacking me, which means you're filtering my traffic. If I'm looking for apartments, you see that, you're putting the ones that you want me to see. I don't know how, if they're just deleting them, or I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know the process of hacking someone. I, it's, it's, it's a little bit more technical than what I'm thinking. I don't know. But you, they're going to give me a list of things. First of all, they're hacking me. Now, a lot of things are covered by the hacking. My finances, I work online. 
they've attacked my business. So they know my limited income. They know what I can afford, what price range I can afford. So within that price range, they're going to give me the, the places that uh, they need me to be. Neighborhoods that are probably less than uh, savory, that are not upscale neighborhoods. Neighborhoods that doesn't have a lot of electronic protection. You know, this because this is all we can afford at some point. Most people who are going through this will, will, will come to that. They lose all their life savings. Because the first instance they start to get paranoid, they start to get scared, they run away from, from their homes. They leave their, their because they, they, they just want it to end. But then they find that it, it follows them. So filtering the traffic is one. They know how, they know... They know where I'm going to end up. They've, they, they've planned this, pre-planned pre, pre this. And let me tell you, a lot of people will say, like, it's, 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 it's not the stamps. I believe it is. Because I checked the price for one of those stamps. One of them. I don't know if my grandma had any of those in there. She may have, because she had a purse full of them. Just one of them sold for almost 15 million US dollars. That's the kind of money people kill people for. And that was just one. We didn't know how much they cost. I, we, we, were, we, we were poor. My grandma, I lived with my grandma. First my parents, then my grandma and my, my grandfather. We, were, we grew up poor. We didn't know what we had. She kept them. But she, I don't know if she, she don't. She, she kept them for me, but she didn't know how much they were worth. Had she known, we would have lived differently. We did, and we never got a chance to find out. So it's a lot of money. And um, so the thing is, what I'm looking at is um, that's one thing to consider. Check your, your wireless and see how many things are being attacked, attached to you and see. I would say take it to, to at least give, give the snapshots to the police. Let them open a the file because that will help if something comes back to bite one of us. At least you're squared away with the police. You you reported it. You did your duty. You reported it. You know that that sort of thing. So, <clears throat> sorry, I have like a I'm kind of burping. Um, so that's one. And the second thing with me, what I was talking about, how I ended up here, you know, in this neighborhood. It's 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 what if what if that's a part of the part of the situation? It's almost like a movie becoming reality for me. Could be. Could be not. But what I think it is, the people who are doing this, because like I said before, you think about it. They want to harm me. It's kind of hard to keep this pace up for over a year without losing steam. Now, how do they lose steam? How do, how do they not lose steam, I should say, sorry. How do they not lose steam? How are they able to keep up this level of alacrity and tenacity to come at us like this? How are they able to do it? They're watching us. They're watching this human being suffer, knowing they are inflicting it. They're watching the pain, watching the suffering. How does one become so detached as to keep being the one to, to mess that person up? They have to make fun of us in their own way. They have to demoralize us. They have to dehumanize us. They have to make themselves believe we are less than, we are nothing, and we deserve to be treated this way. We deserve to be uh, 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 bombarded. We deserve to die. We deserve not to have what is meant for us, that somehow they deserve it more. Like with money, I wouldn't know how to spend money. I wouldn't know how to invest. I didn't ever had the chance. Not that I have to argue, give up and ar put an argument forward for, for why. This is stupid. But I'm just saying. It's like, it's like I'm, you're caught in a twilight zone in these people's mind. Of, of how they do this. Because th just think about it. One person, the first time I heard about this was in Vegas. I didn't really know anything about this gang stalking. Until I saw this guy on YouTube talking about narcissism. And he is from the UK. 
And I uh, heard him say that he was being stalked by this group of people. And he would uh, have, be having sex with his girlfriend and they, they actually got into the apartment above him and they bored holes through his ceiling, which was their floor, and they were watching him do it. Now, who does that? Well, of course, they would want him to know. See, part of the whole thing of them doing this is that they need us to know. They want us to know what they're doing. That's all part of the terrorizing. Well, you, we see it because they need us to act irrational. They need us to talk about it. They need us to, to tell people about it. They need us to look like assholes, basically. Because these things are not happening when the person is when when a neighbor, a relative, or a friend is right here. No, they're gonna stop. As soon as they leave, though, here it goes again. I mean, we can't expect people to be around us 24 hours a day, and they are just laying in wait. As, you know, as soon as they get their opportunity, they're gone again, and then we look like a fool. And this is what they go after. This is why they want us to know. This is why they want us to know, well, look, yeah, look, I'm doing this and there's nothing you can do about it. You look like a dumb fool trying to explain yourself to the police. Like, like I said, there's this guy named Chief Handler. Um, uh, goes around, it seems, uh, stalking people like me and you in himself. He's, um, he said, uh, get help. Yes. Is he going to help me? But he is he chief handler of TIs. Now he's changed his name to eternal chief handler. Uh, good luck with that. Basically, he's also mocking me. And he mocks. I see like a lot of us who are being attacked. He's mocking them. He, he targets people like, like, like you and me. He or she targets people. But I, I think it's a man targets people like you and me. And this is not a robot. This is a person who is deliberately making comments in proportion to what you are saying. So it's not, it's not autopilot. It's a person who is reading it, watching the video and making stupid comments. That's all part of the stalking. Um, but I just wanted to, to think that for us to think about that, but all these phones connected, if you know, it magnifies this um, this frequency, this this these um, emissions, whatever harmful harmful rays, whatever whatever it is, um, and we're absorbing it. That cannot be good because I'm not sure if we're, it's all connected. Is it is it? Because sometimes I feel like when I hold my phone, my arm tends to feel different. The, the arm that and sometimes it would it would actually got a little mild electric shock. I, I don't know why, why it does that, but it's kind of a weird thing. Um, like it's, it, it, it's energized. I, I don't know what's the word for it. I don't know what's the word for it, but in any case, just watch out for that. And with me living here, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I was shepherded here and I'm not sure if there's a lot of people in the neighborhood because I saw also where I live that in my area code and the area code that I was in when I lived at the motel, the, those two area codes are being affected. Their internet keeps going out. Everybody is complaining. Those two area codes. That's, um, that could be a coincidence, but one, it's the same internet company that was at the motel that I have because they do commercial as well as residential. I have the same internet and um, I was in both zip codes with phones. Well, not this phone, but of course, if they're hacking all my phones, then those are connected to this as well. I do have an Android that was at the motel. So that's um, part of the thing. And that's a government phone. I, I got that phone because I couldn't afford any, anything else. It's a free phone. And I got that in the hopes that they wouldn't hack it, that I would have some vague semblance of privacy. I don't think I was successful, but if they would go so much as to hack the government phone, then they don't care. 
They don't care. They feel pretty secure that they are not going to get caught. They don't care. Which, you know, it just makes me angry that they have this confidence. What is the law doing? What, what are they doing? They need to open their eyes, please. It's time for them to start looking at us like human beings. Eventually, they'll have to start saying that our lives matter too. Because it seems like that's the next step up. Our lives do matter. Because whatever these people are doing to me, hand to God, it's not because of something I did. They're trying to out my light because of something they did. And they're afraid they're either going to get caught or they stole a lot of money and they don't want to give it up. Either way, it's going to be a problem for them. It's not something I did to them. It's what they did. So I, in this whole chain of events that ended up with me here and being terrorized like this, it's not because of anything I did. And this, this is not fair to me. It's not fair. It's like my whole fucking life has been marked out. This is not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair to me, nor is it fair to any of you who are really going through this. It's not fair because it's not because of something we did. It's because of something they're doing and then they want to put us six feet under. That's not right. That is messed up to the hilt. It's atrocious, disgusting behavior. And the law enforcement needs to help us. They do need to help us. So, we, but we got to look out for each other and ourselves right now. So, just hang in there. I know sometimes it gets overwhelming and sometimes we feel like we might as well die. Just give them what they want because they want us dead. And we're wondering, all this shit happening to our bodies is a wonder we're not dead yet. Don't think like that because I get like that too. That's what they want. We have a right to be here. We have a right to be alive. They're not doing this because of what we did. They're doing this because of what they did. What they did to us. Or what they want from us. We need to be here. We have a right to be here just like they do. Peace.